What's going on YouTube? Bunks here and today I have another No Man's Sky guide on how you can find yourself your very own paradise planet. So that if you want to of course you can create your very own epic base and enjoy the glorious views as every paradise planet I've come across just looks amazing. I mean of course they do, they're called paradise planets for a reason right? Stumbling upon these paradise planets however isn't as easy as you may think as they are pretty darn rare, especially if you're in the Euclid galaxy. And a note on that, this video will focus on Euclid. Finding them is the same but you may be in a galaxy where they're easier to come across such as Esitam. Before we get stuck in, if you haven't done already, why not hit that subscribe button for more of my No Man's Sky videos including everything from guides and tutorials to glitches and epic base tours. Right then, before we get stuck in, of course you want to make sure that you have your Starship's hyperdrive all fueled up because hunting for paradise planets will involve a good few warps around. Also, don't worry, you're not going to need any extra hyperdrive modules in your starships such as the Emerald Drive or the Cadmium Drive. These star systems may contain paradise planets but it's a lot less likely so we won't waste any time exploring those. If possible though, try and add some S-Class hyperdrive upgrades so you can jump further in one go. So, a few things to know is that there are 11 types of biome that you want to look out for when scanning a planet from space as they aren't all just called Paradise Planet. There are in fact 11 biomes that all fall under the category of lush planets and they are all effectively Paradise Planets. So if you scan a planet and you see one of these biomes this would indicate that the planet is in fact a Paradise Planet. The biomes you want to look out for are as follows. Rainy, Vedant, Tropical, Viridescent, Paradise, duh, Temperate, Humid, Overgrown, Flourishing, Grassy and finally Bountiful. So how do we get to a star system where these biomes are more likely to appear? Well, you will notice that when you're in the galaxy map that each system has a spectral class such as G6P. We're not interested in the letters here so much but we are interested in the number in the middle. This number can range from 0 to 9 and it indicates the overall temperature of the system. Now most of you may think, and rightly so, well the higher the number the hotter the system right? Nope, it is in fact the exact opposite. The higher the number the cooler the system. Why it was done that way who knows but we move on. So you want to look out for the numbers somewhere in the middle of that range, ideally 4 to 6 I would say as you're more likely to find average temperature planets which means you won't need to use any hazard protection when you're on them, both during the day and at night. And isn't that half of the point of searching for a pla paradise planet? No need for hazard protection. Now again, when you're in the galaxy map you want to be on the lookout for yellow star systems because these systems have a higher chance of you finding lush planets of some description. If you're after a more Earth-like planet you may also want to check that the systems you're looking at contains water because this will again will improve your chances of finding Earth 2.0. Now of course you can get paradise planets that contain water which look absolutely nothing like Earth but it does help if the system contains water. Finally there are two more things you want to look out for whilst you're still in the galaxy map and that is how many planets are in the yellow star system. If this system only contains two or three planets it's a little less likely that one's going to be paradise one so what you want to do is find a system with at least four planets ideally five and even better if you can find a system which has a planet with a couple of moons around it because these moons could also be a paradise moon and if you find one of these paradise moons you're also going to get that amazing view of its planet on the bot on the horizon even. How cool is that? Now that's a base with a view. We're not done just yet. So you found yourself a yellow star system with at least four planets and possibly a couple of moons. Awesome. Now is the time to warp to that system and one of the first telling signs that a planet could fall under the lush category before you even scan it from space 
is of course the colour. Paradise planets tend to be quite bright and vibrant colours, for example red, purple, orange and if you're lucky, blue and green, just like our Earth. But of course, just because a planet is colourful doesn't mean it's a paradise planet. If you want, you can look in the Discovery tab of the main menu and have a quick overview of all the planets in your system to prevent you having to fly around and scan each and every one of them. It may give you a quick idea to see if any are paradise planets or not. They are genuinely pretty easy to spot though from space. It would be worth checking sentinel activity of course when scanning the planets because if you're looking for a new home planet to set up a base, not everyone wants to keep being hounded by these darn annoying sentinels. So if you fall into that anti-sentinel category, avoid planets with high sentinel activity or aggressive sentinels, obviously. So if one of the planets in your yellow star system falls under one of the 11 biomes that I mentioned earlier in the video, you've found yourself an all elusive paradise planet. Great! However, we are not totally done yet, because even though it is a paradise planet, there is still a good chance there could be storms on there, so we do need to head on down to the surface to see what the situation is with the weather. So once you've got yourself down to the planet, pop out of your starship and in the bottom left of your screen you should see a quick overview of the weather on the planet and if that weather is red for example it is highly likely you could see some super hot storms from time to time, so you may not want that for your new home. If you take a look at this chart, which I'm going to leave on screen for the next few seconds, this will tell you what to look out for when you've just landed on a new planet. If the weather says anything from the left hand column, you're on to a winner and I would set up a new base right there and then, if that's your goal of course. A couple in the middle column are also perfectly fine as well, such as mostly calm and usually mild. The others, however, in the middle column will likely contain storms and anything in the right column will definitely contain storms and probably at much higher frequency. So me personally, I would avoid these planets and carry on my hunt. As a rough guide on how often you can find paradise planets in the Euclid galaxy, I would expect you to come across two, maybe three of them every 10 warps or so to a yellow star system so it shouldn't actually take you too long to find them, but now you know exactly what to look out for, you can be a bit more selective on which yellow star system you should walk to, with a higher likelihood that there'll be a paradise planet waiting for you in there. And that folks, is a full guide on how you can find paradise planets in No Man's Sky, for when you're looking for a new home planet to set up a base. Don't forget, if you found this video useful, why not hit those like and subscribe buttons so you never miss out on any of my future No Man's Sky videos. Thank you for watching and catch you next time.